boil water, brew tea. Nambu cast ironware adds color and serenity to your life. Each work reflects the highest and most refined craftsmanship. The indisputable quality of Nambu cast ironware is upheld by the hands of craftsmen called Kamashi. Their spirit and craftsmanship, which blow a breath of life into iron, have been passed down from their predecessors for generations. Nambu cast ironware, craftwork that represents Iwate. Nambu cast ironware, which boasts a history of four centuries, has surpassed time and gained fans throughout the world. There are reasons why it has been treasured widely for so long. The sophisticated design, the ease of use, the unique texture and the deepness of color which mature with use. Nambu cast ironware emanates an air of warmth and serenity. Let us introduce the history of Nambu cast ironware. The word Nambu comes from the name of the clan who built a castle in Morioka and ruled the area during the Edo period. It is said that Nambu cast ironware had its beginnings in the mid-17th century when the Nambu lord of the day invited Kamashi craftsmen from Kyoto to make teapots. Nambu cast ironware continued to develop under the protection of the Nambu lords. Iwachu was established in 1902 in Morioka a major center of production of Nambu cast ironware. As a manufacturer that keeps the traditional spirit and craftsmanship alive, we bring to our customers over 1 million products annually. Teapots and kettles whose design epitomizes the beauty of Japanese tradition. Modern ironware that combines the simple texture with novel designs. We make over 1,800 Nambu cast ironware products. Nambu cast ironware is a tradition which has been kept alive through its use in daily life. We have continually developed new products which meet the needs of the time and the market. Iwachu Nambu cast ironware products are treasured around the world and exported to areas such as North America, Europe, and Asia. In fact, Nambu cast ironware has come to be commonly referred to as Iwachu overseas. At Iwachu, we are constantly seeking new possibilities for Nambu cast ironware to evolve with the times. As a long-established brand of Nambu cast ironware, Iwachu has always prided itself on its products. The indisputable quality of Iwachu products is upheld by the hands of its craftsmen that keep the tradition alive. Kettles inscribed Nambu Iwachu Kiyosue represent one of the main kettle brands of Iwachu. The brand Kiyosue comes from the Chinese characters of the name Iwashimizu Suekichi, founder of Iwachu. At Iwachu, there is another brand which has been handed down through the company's history. It is Kiyoshige, named after the previous president of the company, Iwashimizu Yakichi, nicknamed Mokichi. The Chinese character for Mo in Mokichi can also be pronounced Shige. How is Nambu cast ironware made? Let us explain using the kettle as an example. The production of Nambu cast iron kettles requires sparier skill and abundant experience. In the traditional production method, three craftsmen work as a team. 
There are 68 steps in the production process. It is said that it takes a craftsman at least 15 years to master the procedure. Now we will introduce the main steps of production. First, a life size sketch of a kettle is drawn. The next step is mold making. Mud and clay are mixed and poured into a mold called sanegata. Using a tool called ushi, the sanegata is rotated to make the mold for the kettle. Before the kettle mold dries completely, it is decorated by pressing a pattern onto the surface. The depressed points will become raised points on the finished kettle. Decoration pressing is the step that requires the highest level of mastery. The finished mold is dried and fired at about 900 degrees Celsius. The time required depends on the size and shape of the mold. The firing process requires a skill perfected through long years of experience. This process is called mold firing. The mold firing process is the most characteristic technique in the production of traditional Nambu cast iron kettles. There are two exterior molds, the upper mold and the lower mold, as well as an interior mold called nakago. First, the upper mold is placed sideways, then the nakago is placed inside. Finally, the lower mold is placed to enclose the nakago. The thickness of the kettle is determined by the amount of space between the exterior molds and the nakago. Finally, we come to the casting process. Iron is melted in a furnace at about 1,400 degrees Celsius to 1,500 degrees Celsius. With a ladle called yukumi, the molten iron is poured into the mold. The molten iron is referred to as yu or hot water. The perfect temperature and the texture of the molten iron can only be determined by experienced craftsmen. When the iron has cooled down and hardened, the kettle is removed from the mold. It is a tense moment when the quality of the finished work is revealed.
The sand is removed from the nakago, as is the burr made during casting. The next step is kettle firing, a procedure unique to Nambu cast ironware. Kettle firing is a rust proofing procedure. By creating an oxidized layer on the interior surface of the kettle, rusting is prevented. After the kettle surface is cleaned and retouched, it is colored. Coloring is an important step that adds a final touch to the design of the kettle. First, the kettle is heated to about 250 degrees Celsius. Lacquer is applied using a Kugo brush. Then, a solution made by adding iron rust to vinegar and green tea that is boiled down are applied at about 100 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. Finally, the kettle is polished with a well-run cloth. The handle of the kettle is made by a smith specializing in handles. There are two types of handles, mukuzuru and fukurozuru. Fukurozuru is a hollow handle which prevents heat conduction by providing an air passage. Mukuzuru is made by forging both ends of an iron rod to stretch them thin. This method is suited for making uniquely designed handles. After polishing and carefully checking the kettle, the handle is attached to complete the production process. Feel the subtle difference between each kettle and the warmth of handmade work. Each Nambu cast iron kettle is made with utmost care by craftsmen in whom traditional spirit and skill live on. Iwachu's Nambu cast iron kettle is an embodiment of tradition and superb craftsmanship. Here we will introduce some of our main products. Nambu cast ironware can be made in two ways. The aforementioned mold firing method, which is designated as a protected traditional craft, and the green sand molding method, suited for mass production. Green sand molding is a method in which moistened sand is packed into a frame to make a mold, into which molten iron is poured. 
Green refers not to the color, but to the wet state of the sand used. Green sand molding is a method combining the best of both traditional craftsmanship and modern casting technique. Nambu cast ironware products made by green sand molding are genuine yet reasonably priced. At Iwaju, items such as pots and ornaments are produced by green sand molding. Soothing wind chimes, perfect for summer. The light, delicate sound of traditional Nambu cast iron wind chimes is a soothing delight to the ear. The dignified form, the jet black luster. With its simple yet elegant presence, Nambu cast ironware will add warmth to your home. Nambu cast ironware, highly recognized for its artistic value as well as its usability in daily life, is a traditional craft to be passed on to future generations. There are reasons why it has been treasured widely for so long. Nambu cast ironware has many unique merits. For example, water boiled in a Nambu cast iron kettle is extremely mild. That is because the chlorine in the tap water is removed by the iron kettle. Without the chlorine flavor, the taste of food and drinks such as tea or coffee will be boosted. Nambu cast ironware is good for health as well. Small amounts of iron ions melt into the water boiled in an iron kettle or the food cooked in an iron pot. This is especially healthy because ionized iron is easily absorbed by the body. Many people today do not get sufficient iron. It is important to get iron from food, but by using ironware on a daily basis, you can supplement your iron intake. Furthermore, Nambu cast ironware can boost the taste of food cooked in it. Iron retains heat extremely well. It stays hot much longer than other materials such as aluminum. Ironware is perfect for recipes that require high heat, such as sukiyaki or steak. It is also great for deep frying. In an iron pan, oil is heated evenly. Food cannot be cooked well in unevenly heated cookware. Ironware is perfect for cooking because it conducts heat evenly. Nambu cast ironware is also useful because burnt food does not stick to the surface. Ironware has a finely uneven surface. This unevenness is formed by the sand of the mold. Oil and heated air fill the uneven space on the surface and prevent burnt food from sticking. The more you use an iron cookware, the more seasoned it becomes, with the oil forming a stick-resistant coating. Nambu cast ironware is sturdy and durable. With proper care, it can be used for generations. If you take good care of your Nambu cast ironware and wish to use it for years to come, it will more than live up to your expectations. Let us explain how to take care of an iron kettle. The more you use an iron kettle, the more charm it acquires. With years of use, an iron kettle will develop charm and presence, which cannot be seen in a new kettle. In general, the inside of a kettle does not require special care. The interior surface of a kettle has a rust-proof finish, so do not wash the inside. Before the first use, boil water in the kettle and discard it. Repeat two or three times. Let's take a look at actually boiling some water in an iron kettle. If you put the lid on while boiling, the water will boil over. 
The lid of an iron kettle does not have a hole, so make sure that it is ajar while boiling. After use, discard the water while the kettle is still hot and keep the lid off. The remaining heat will evaporate the leftover water, drying the inside completely. This helps to prevent rusting. Next, let us explain how to take care of the cookware using an iron pan as an example. Before the first use, wash the pan thoroughly with warm water, wipe and dry it well, coat it with a thin layer of cooking oil, and saute some vegetable scraps. This will remove the distinct smell of iron. After use, clean the pan thoroughly with a sponge brush and dry it on low heat before putting it away. Coating the inside with a thin layer of cooking oil helps to prevent rusting. If you leave leftover food in the pan, the food will turn blackish because of the iron. It will eventually cause the pan to rust, so please transfer any leftover food into another container. When storing ironware for a long time, dry it completely, wrap it in paper, and keep it in a dry place. Newspaper is useful since it absorbs moisture well. With good care, Nambu cast ironware can be used for over half a century. Next, let us explain some important points to keep in mind when using Nambu cast ironware. Cast iron products have several special characteristics. Since they have a high content of carbon, they break relatively easily. Try not to drop them or subject them to a strong impact. The handle, the spout, and the lid will become very hot. So be careful not to burn yourself. Always use a pot holder. Do not cool hot ironware suddenly by pouring cold water inside. It is dangerous because hot steam may suddenly blow out. There is also a risk of the ironware cracking. Nambu cast ironware, with its refined surface and impressive presence, is a traditional craft which has been nurtured over a long period of time by Morioka's history and nature. The spirit and craftsmanship passed down from our predecessors live on in each piece of work. At Iwaju, we have simultaneously striven to keep the tradition alive and developed new designs and ideas. Surpassing time and place, we will continue with our mission to seek new possibilities for Nambu cast ironware.